Hello and welcome to the podcast. Today we are talking about the differences between MDR, EDR, and XDR for cybersecurity. You may have been hearing about XDR in recent months, and that's because this has been a rising technology that improves upon MDR and EDR, which themselves are great advancements from older solutions. Gartner predicts that the majority of enterprises will have replaced legacy security software with one of these advanced solutions by 2023. So you might be wondering, what do all of these offerings do? How are they related to each other? And which one might be best for your organization? Today, we're going to take a look at the functions and the differences between MDR, EDR, and XDR. So first, let's talk about managed detection response. This is MDR. With cyber threats evolving rapidly and a relative shortage of cybersecurity experts at many organizations, managed detection response helps companies stay on top of their monitoring by providing this expertise through an external managed security service provider, an MSSP. The company specifies particular security goals and priorities, and then the MSSP manages its cybersecurity around the clock. This way, the company's own team members aren't overwhelmed with a multitude of security tools, which we know can happen. These tools include security information and event management, network traffic analysis, user and entity behavior analytics, endpoint detection, and cloud security, among a lot of others. And since all of this is handled externally by the MSSP, security administrators at the organization itself don't need extensive skills or experience handling all of them, which is the best part. Even if your security team is experienced, this option reduces their alert fatigue. The MSSP can take full responsibility for security management and act on the company's behalf. Or, if you prefer, they can communicate with the security team about issues that they discover, providing guidance on how to remediate. Okay, now let's talk about endpoint detection response. This is EDR. Endpoints are a common vulnerability, with over two-thirds of breaches originating in these users' devices. Endpoint detection response allows for strong monitoring of these endpoints without the help of an external managed service. The organization's own security team gains higher visibility and monitoring of endpoints through this technology. EDR offers stronger protection than older security solutions. So let me give you an example. Traditional antivirus software detected malware through an attacker's signature, but advanced persistent threats now use malware, free actions, or unidentifiably malware, which could go undetected with that older software. So EDR's monitoring is able to actually find these threats. It can record and save queries, behaviors, and events, and it helps pinpoint the underlying vulnerabilities and causes. Some EDR uses advanced behavioral analysis and machine learning, and this may go way beyond the knowledge of the in-house security team. In this case, EDR can be combined with MDR with the advanced endpoint detection managed by the MSSP. All right, let's talk about extended detection response, XDR. XDR is the ultimate security coverage, going way beyond endpoint detection to comprehensive monitoring of a broad range of areas. It's not completely agreed upon what the acronym stands for. A common understanding is that the X is for extended, especially since another EDR would be too confusing. Others argue that X stands for cross-layered or for anywhere, you name it. XDR has been covered. Wherever a threat or attack may arise, XDR is there across networks, cloud workloads, and more. Basically, XDR combines the multiple tools of EDR and MDR into a central integrated view. And it often uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to do this effectively. So you might be wondering, which one is best for you? MDR, EDR, or XDR? And honestly, the right detection response choice for each organization is going to depend on several factors, like the security team size, the skill level, the company budget, and the degree of risk. If endpoints are the primary concern, EDR may be enough. If you want to skip the headache and have an MSSP take care of your detection response for you, MDR might be the best option. In that case, we have an excellent recommendation for your MSSP. Just send us a contact form and we're happy to get you in contact. 
or to manage your own detection and response through the most advanced and centralized technology, I would recommend XDR. Go ahead and check out our post on our blog page, XDR Pioneers and Providers, to learn a little bit more about the offerings out there. And that's all for today. Thanks for listening to our podcast about the differences between MDR, EDR, and XDR for cybersecurity. (music) 